Hello, my name is Stephen Wyatt, and this is my introduction for Advanced Seminar and Leadership for Fall 2018. I'm excited to introduce myself and get started with this semester. I'm looking forward to working with everybody in the program. So we'll just dive right in. Just to give you a little information about my educational background, I first went to Berry College in Rome, Georgia to receive a Bachelor of Music and Music Business. I was a saxophone major, played piano, sang too, um, but I took some business classes for a business minor, and really it was at Barry that I started my experience that led me to student affairs, which I'll talk about a little bit more later. Then I went to grad school at the University of West Georgia, so I'm excited to be back. I love University of West Georgia as a, as a graduate student for the master's program, so I'm super excited to be back, part of the College of Education. I was part of the first cohort that had the professional counseling degree that had the concentration in college student affairs, so I'm excited to also be part of the first cohort again. And then um, I came back to work at Berry College. But while I was while I've been here, I've obtained a Master of Business Administration just to get some more of the uh, business side of things, some operation or operational things, which has been really important for residence life. And I'm been excited to be back in grad school again for round three. Moving on to my professional history, I would say that my professional history in terms of how it relates to student affairs really started at Berry College when I was an undergraduate student. So I was a RA for two years in a first year hall. I really enjoyed that, working with first year students, helping them transition into college, being there for them, helping them build a community. I, I pretty much loved every second of it. I even even the parts that maybe weren't as fun sometimes, incident reporting and you know that kind of that side of things. I also was a head desk assistant, and for Barry College, up until that point, we had never had a desk assistant staff that just managed the desks in the residence halls. The RAs had always done that, and so because we were, the, it was the first year we'd ever done that. Not only did I get to supervise these desk assistants, I really got to create the staff and build um, the staff to how I wanted it to be, build the position how I thought it should be, and and that really had a lot to do with why I decided to go into the field. I already knew that I liked working with students because I had been working as a resident assistant, but getting to do kind of the operational back office side of things really interested me too. And so those two positions together are really what got me to decide that I wanted to do student affairs versus where what I had majored in, which was music. When I got to University of West Georgia, I started as a graduate assistant for admissions. I worked with tour guides and also worked with large groups that came for tours and helped out with preview days and, and really everything that goes along with admissions. The second year I was a grad student, I worked as a graduate resident director. I was over uh, Boykin Hall, which is now part of the Oaks. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with West Georgia, um, I was the last hall director for that building, so it's just kind of a fun thing that I like to say. And then after I graduated, I worked as a residence life coordinator for housing and residence life at West Georgia until December of 2012. My first full-time, uh, not temporary position was at Georgia Tech. It was a hall director position. I was there for about two years. I, I loved it. I was on the west side of campus with upperclassmen in an apartment style setting. It was really, I absolutely always wanted to live in Atlanta, so I really enjoyed working in that position. You know, I don't think I ever warmed up to the traffic, but it was a great, it was a great job. Love working with the students, and it was a coming coming from you know starting with Barry College being a small uh, private college to moving up to West Georgia was a little bigger, and then moving to you know a large scale Division One university. I I really enjoyed all the different experiences because nothing was really a repeat of what I had worked with before, and I think that that gave a lot of good perspective for me. I'm currently an area coordinator at Berry College. I got to come back in 2014 to my alma mater to work, so I've been very excited about that. I'm starting my fifth year in this position now, and I've, I've loved every minute of it. I supervise three traditional housing areas and one suite style. I have two head residents that report to me that supervise a staff of 22 RAs. I'm also in charge of student staff recruitment selection and training. I'm kind of the human resources of housing student staff and I was also the acting camps and conferences coordinator for a summer. And during the summer, um, I also work as a campus police assistant working with card access in our, in our um, campus police office. I think one of the exciting things about working at a small school is you get to do a little bit of everything, um, whether it's inside of your department or outside of your department. 
you know, when you have a staff of five, everything's still got to be done. Same as a, as a large university, but you get to, to dabble in a whole lot of things. And I think that that makes the experience, um, it, it makes it fun for me. I mean, I think I do, I don't have the same day twice, which can, can be a little chaotic at times, but really I think it's, it's been a great experience so far. And, and I, I want to kind of keep this style, even if I'm not always at Barry, to do, um, you know, to play that role, to be flexible, to, you know, do whatever's necessary in the day, even if it's not necessarily what my job started as. Moving on to what I would consider my leadership philosophy, I tried to break it down into several key points, but the first and most important one, in my opinion, is role modeling. I believe that every leader should role model the behavior and the work ethic that they want their students and their staff members to have. This is something that we really push with our RA staff at Barry because we what we explain to them is that you know we can have programs that that teach students about how to follow policies and, and how to have balanced lifestyle and, and be a successful student. But all of that kind of goes out the window if we have staff that doesn't also show that and also role model that behavior. So I think that's the third that's the most important part to me. Then we move on to communication and I think What's important for me is to have open communication with my staff, and I want them to feel like they can have open communication with me, especially when we're when we're in a one on one setting. If they have concerns, I want them to feel like they can talk to me and not, you know, not worry about how something's going to come across because I want them to have the chance to really tell me how they feel. I think it helps them feel like they've been heard, but also it makes sure that we're both on the same page of really what's going on. In that conversation, it also gives me an opportunity to explain context and the why in situations where that's relevant. Sometimes it's hard to see the big picture when you're in the day-to-day -day of it. And so having a chance to pause and really talk about that and, and how it affects students in a positive way can, can make a huge difference. In that same way, listening to feedback. And, and I would say not just listening to feedback, but listening to feed, feedback from the student's perspective. So hearing it in a way so that you can understand how they feel about it. Because again, going back to having students feel like they're being heard and feel like they're being listened to, you have to understand where they're coming from in order for it to be effective. And then it, it kind of covered this, but everyone should have a voice. And I think that that's not just true in a one-on-one -on -one setting, but in a group setting when we're planning events or, or talking through issues or whatever the case is, everybody should have a chance to, to speak their mind without fear of judgment or being um, criticized for what they think. Finally, moving on to my career goals, I don't have a particular position in mind that I want to strive to because I want to make sure that whatever the position is, that it meets certain aspects of, of my goals. So it doesn't spell out necessarily a particular position, but I want to make sure that it still meets these criteria. So I I'd like to see something that still has a focus in facilities and operations. I feel like these two things are very important to everything else running smoothly. Um, in terms of recruitment and retention of students and helping them be successful, these two things may not always seem like the, the most uh, important parts because there's a lot of important pieces, but when not done well, these can definitely trip up the ability to be successful and to get through to students and help them in, enjoy their experience. So I want to work with that. Um, project management comes on a lot with that. Projects that help the school, that aid the institution, whether that's residence hall related or, or otherwise. I also want to have a focus on student work. Barry College is very student work oriented. Just about every student on campus has a job through our college. And so whether I'm at Barry or anywhere else, I want them to have an opportunity to have a position on campus where they can work and gain experience, but also learn how to be a professional. And then finally, whatever I do, I want it to always have a student focus. I don't want to ever lose that connection with students. Uh, it may take different forms and may look different ways, but I always want to have a position where I get to have student interaction. So that's, that's about all there is to me. Um, I hope that you have learned a little bit. Uh, like I said at the beginning, I'm very excited to get to work with each of you more, and I hope to talk with you soon. Thank you.